Hi there, it's Jason here from Forex Pipsnagger and Forex U-Turn. And today is uh, May the 10th, 2012. Okay, so basically uh, we're looking for our setups here now on the five-minute chart, the Euro USD chart. Okay, oh, now a yawn's coming. Excuse me. So anyway, we're looking, uh, the trend change right here, okay? We were looking to sell the, the sucker, but um, our window of opportunity, not our window of opportunity, our gap of opportunity, I should say, did not line up with the filter, so there was no selling. Um, the only time it got you to sell was right in here. And if you did sell, you could have got 10, 12 pips out of it, and that's it. Then, um, our only opportunity to buy it wasn't in here. Okay, our filter did not line up then. Our filter lined up here. Most could have got out of that was 27 pips to the top, and then the sucker turned around. And I guarantee you we probably had some divergence up here, just like we had some divergence right here. Low and a lower low, a high and a higher high. Not that we're talking divergence here today, but that's why it probably went the other way. Um, such a powerful thing, that divergence. Um, I told you guys, you know, pick up your copy of Forex Master Method, and, well, if you didn't listen, you didn't listen. Anyway, uh, that's it for the setups here. There's just a couple places to buy, um, buy the dips here. Okay, let's take a look at the one-minute scalper. We'll go back in time. And there she be. Okay, uh, we broke through resistance right here, which was not a strong resistance, but it did rather quickly came back down. I don't know, if you would have bought it there, it was only five pips at the top. There's there's no way you would have bought it there. And it didn't break through the resistance here. Okay. And you can put a line here. Right there. Okay. See, it was struggling there. Sell, sell, sell. Then it finally broke through. There was no trade there. Okay. This isn't like the five minute where you look to buy dips, you know, um, even though it looks like a five minute chart, but it isn't. So there was no trade there. And at 20 after two, we broke up through the resistance again. If you did buy it here, okay, you only went about two pips in your favor and went the other way, okay? Um, and that was it. Our trading time ended. So there was no trades in here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, other than maybe right there, and it didn't go anywhere, it re or I mean right here, I should say, and it didn't go anywhere, it really sucked, okay, let's take a look at the five minute pound, okay, so, it didn't line up till right here, our opportunity was up here, but the filter did not agree, just like on the euro, and it didn't line up here either, okay, with the filter, um, it didn't line up till up here. So all you could have done is buy dips up in here, and it didn't really go anywhere. Take a look at the Swissy. Swissy is opposite of the Euro. Um, you know, basically here you could have sold some rallies into here, made a couple pips, but probably not many. Uh, did not line up here. Did not, well, lined up here just like the Euro did, and the most you could have made was about 17 pips. So, you could have sold a couple rallies in here, made a few pips, but was not was not a very good day, I'll have to say. Okay, so <clears throat> that's it uh, for the pip snagger. Let's take a quick look now at the U-turn. Oh, the U-turn's a mess. Yes, indeed. It's just flip-flopping all over the places. We got W's and M's all over the damn place. So, yeah, if uh, you look to buy here after this long run down, okay, here was the W, you would have got long here, and it would have come down and got your stop. Well, your stop probably would have been here at this low, so you still would be in it, maybe. But then it flipped on you again and turned red, then it flipped on you again and turned blue. It's not a good day. And the pound, well, look at the pound, eh? Well, see, that's not a trade setup. This is a trade setup to go long, and it was blue, okay? But it came down, freaked you out. Your stop would have been right down here. So you'd still be in the trade. 
making about 20 pips or so. Okay, so that's it for the setup for today. Thanks for listening. You have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.